good morning and welcome to worship at the Salvation Army Staple Hill. I wonder if you can think of a time when you got lost. Maybe it was when you were driving somewhere and you just couldn't find the address. Or maybe a walk in the woods ended up a much longer walk than you expected. Or perhaps for a moment you got lost from the rest of your family in a busy shop. I'm sure we've all had that feeling of being lost at one time or another. Over the last couple of months, we've been looking at some of the most popular parts of the Bible in our Great Bible Best Bits, and this morning we'll be looking at a story Jesus told of the lost son. Now this son wasn't lost because he couldn't find his way. He was lost because he decided to leave home. And we'll listen to that story in a little while. For now, we're going to sing a song together. And for those children that are watching, while we sing this song, why don't you hide something in the next room, maybe a teddy or a toy car, and get someone else in your home to find it. We're going to pr praise and worship God just now by singing Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven. It's number 55 in the songbook.
told many stories, and one of the best known is the story of the lost son. It is found in Luke chapter 15. Listen to it now as it is read for us by Hilton. After the Bible reading, please just sit back and think about what this story means as we listen to Naomi and Michael bringing us the song, The First Step. This morning's reading is from Luke chapter 15, beginning at verse 11, and I'm reading from the New International Version. Jesus continued, There was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Not long after that, the younger son got together all that he had, set off for a distant country, and there squandered his wealth in wild living. After he had spent everything, there was a severe famine in that whole country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country, who sent him to the fields to feed the pigs. He longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. When he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired men have food to spare? And here I am starving to death. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired men. So he got up and went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. You may be frightened. You may be sad. There may be little in your life to make you glad you may have memories too strong to live a life that's hijacked hard to retrieve this is the place that you now can leave just take the first step
freedom to play our part in God's big plan, freedom to be the person he created us to be. Many people think that being a Christian is a restricted way of life, but the opposite is true. Once we become a Christian, we're more free than ever before. Freedom to choose, freedom to be the person we were created to be, freedom to play our part. God gives us freedom. This story teaches us so much about the Father love of God towards us. We have God's forgiveness when we come to him with a sorry heart. We are part of God's family with all the benefits that come from being his son or daughter. And we have God's freedom to choose to play our part. If you've been a Christian for a while, hopefully you've experienced God's forgiveness, enjoyed being a part of his family and live in his freedom. But maybe looking at this story today has reminded you how amazing these things are and how amazing God the Father is. If you've never approached God with a sorry heart, or maybe you need to return to him like the lost son, then you've got the opportunity to do that now. God is waiting for you with open arms, waiting to give you his forgiveness, to welcome you into his family, and to share with you his freedom. Please get in touch if you want to know any more. The singing company, our singing company, have a song for us, and it's called A Child's Prayer. The words say, Heavenly Father, are you really there? And do you hear and answer every child's prayer? And then later on in the song comes the answer. Speak, he is listening. You are his child. His love now surrounds you. He hears your prayer.
Sydney Company, including Isabella, the soloist. It's been great today to reflect on the love of our Father God, especially as today is Father's Day. Now maybe Father's Day is a difficult time for you. It could be a time of grieving for fathers who are no longer with us, or maybe you don't have good memories of a loving father. Whatever your experience, we know that God is one father that we can absolutely rely on. Here are some people who would like to say thank you to their own fathers, and they're going to do that just now. See how many people you can spot. Happy Father's Day! Hi Dad, just to say Happy Father's Day. I hope you have a wonderful day and we love you loads. Bye. Hello Dad. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day Dad. Hope you have an amazing day. Love you. Hi Dad, just wanted to wish you a very happy Father's Day. Um, I just thank you for everything you've done for all of us. You are amazing. I love you so much. And I can't wait for this all to be over to give you the biggest hug ever. See you soon. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Happy Father's Day, Dad, and have a lovely day. Happy Father's Day, Dad. I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you for everything you do for me and the family. Love you lots. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Thank you for all the DIY work that you do around the house. It's very nice and we appreciate it. You're the best. Mwah. Happy, happy Father's Day, Daddy. I love you so much. I wish my dad a happy Father's Day in his favourite room. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to my dad and also daddy. Uh. Happy Father's Day. Yeah, Grandad. Happy Father's Day, Grandad. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Hope you have a great day. If I asked anyone at the army to describe my dad, I'm sure the first word they would say is sleep. He seems to have an enormous ability to sleep anywhere, even during your best sermons, Colin. However, if you were to think more about him, the words that really spring to mind are laid back, possibly even horizontal. Kind, supportive, generous, and always putting himself before others. And this is exactly how we feel about my dad in our family. He gives us all hours of grandparenting, home improvements, gardening, with unfailing cheerfulness and support. Simon, I, and our families both feel privileged that this true gentleman is our dad, and we're really looking forward to when lockdown is over, in order for him to... Come round and sort our gardens out. Oh, I'm sorry, some proper family times again. See you soon, Dad. Bye. Happy Father's Day. Um, happy Father's Day, Daddy. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Hope you have a great day. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Have a brilliant day. Happy Father's Day, yeah. Granddad. Yeah. I hope you have a, really a good day. day on Father's Day. Hi, Dad. You still offer me a listening ear, an inquiring mind, guidance and your humour. I'm proud and grateful to call you Dad. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Love you. Happy Father's Day from all of us. And Bertie! Happy Father's Day! Happy Father's Day, Dad. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day spending it on your own in isolation uh, with Mum, though, so silver linings in that. Um, I miss you. Uh, I wish that we would be able to see each other sometime this year. 
hopefully next year. But um, with all of this COVID stuff, who knows? Uh, take care of yourself and have a fantastic day. And I will see you on FaceTime and that soon. Um, and hopefully see you very soon in the flesh next year, maybe. Have a great day. Love you. And I'll speak to you soon, Dad. Happy Friday, Dave. Hello, Dad. This is a Father's Day to remember, uh, not necessarily for the right reasons, but it doesn't diminish how much I love you and how proud I am to call you my dad. So I hope you have a really lovely day. Enjoy your beautiful garden and we hope to see you soon. Lots of love. Bye. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Thanks for everything. You're the best. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. Hi, Dad. Hi. I just want to say a big thank you for taking us to watch the Rovers, uh, going cycling with me, doing the gardening and mowing the lawn, uh, and everything you do for us and everyone else. Happy Father's Day. Up the Rovers. Bye. Happy, happy Father's Day. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Just to say Happy Father's Day. You have been my absolute hero since the day I was born, but even more so now. You are the bravest, strongest man I have ever, ever known and the most determined. Me, Matt and the girls are so, so blessed to have you in our lives and you're one in a million, Dad. We love you and you've always been my favourite. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Oh, yeah. Hello, Dad. Happy Father's Day. Just wanted to say thanks for everything you've done for me and we are sorry that we can't come and spend some proper time with you but hopefully we'll see you soon have a great day in those well-known words of the warner brothers that's all folks so before we get this meeting back on track just finally one from me happy father's day dad see you later back to you nicola thank you to everyone who took part there and i hope you all have a good day but we also want to remember those who find Father's Day difficult. We're thinking of you too. It's been good this morning to learn about our Father God's love by looking at the story of the lost son. There's so much more to this story though. If we keep reading in Luke chapter 15, we learn about the other son. Now we haven't had time to look at that son this morning, but we will be doing that in our extra slice groups this week. If you're a member of our church and haven't yet joined an extra slice group, then please get in touch. Otherwise, you're only getting half the story. It only takes an hour a week and it's an opportunity to connect with others too. So just let us know. We also want to thank all those people who filled in one of our surveys. This will help us in our planning going forward and we'll keep you up to date with any plans as soon as we have them. We're going to join together now in another song. And as we do, do, please put your offering to one side. We're going to sing song number 882, Oh Happy Day. <laughs>
morning for your forgiveness. I thank you this morning that I can be part of your family. And I thank you this morning because you 